Today's lesson is going to be all about the cell cycle and the processes which control it. Before we do that though, the first thing we're going to have to do is look at the cell cycle itself and its different stages. There are two main sections of the cell cycle. There's interphase, seen in green, which is where the cell spends most of its life, and then there's mitosis, seen in pink, where the cell divides. Interphase itself is split into three different sections. There's a G1 phase, where the cell is going to spend most of its life, and it's going to do all its life processes, like make proteins and take in water through osmosis. Then there's a short S phase, where the DNA replicates, and then there's a final G2 phase, where the cell does some growth and preparation for mitosis. The cell really maintains control by positioning three checkpoints throughout the cycle. Checkpoint one is where the cell asks the question, is the cell too big? And this is really where the cell commits to mitosis. Checkpoint two, at the end of G2, checks the success of DNA replication. And checkpoint three, seen in metaphase, assesses whether all the chromosomes are aligned correctly. These checkpoints are going to be assessed using both internal and external signals from the cell. Let's start with checkpoint two. In the G2 phase, an internal factor called MPF, which is made up of the protein CDK and cyclin, is going to gradually accumulate throughout the cycle until a threshold level is met. At this stage, the cell is going to move through to mitosis. During mitosis, MPF levels stay relatively constant until checkpoint three is reached. At this stage, the production of protein degrading enzymes sees the gradual decrease in available cyclin and therefore the reduction in MPF. This triggers the movement through the checkpoint and initiates the end of mitosis. Checkpoint 1 is slightly trickier because we need to incorporate external factors. As the cell starts the cycle, it starts to accumulate MPF, but it only does so when it receives external signals from things like growth hormones telling it it's getting larger, or when there's reduced contact inhibition where there's space. And the cell will only be able to reach its threshold if it receives enough of these signals. Well, that's pretty much it for the cell cycle. Pretty tricky concept, but one you should be able to grasp if you break it down. Don't forget the three stages of interphase, G1, S and G2, the positioning of and the questions asked at each of the checkpoints, as well as how they're answered, which are via use of those internal factors like CDK cycle and MPF, and external factors like growth hormones. I hope it helped.